hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching hopefully you're feeling much better after yet another defeat at Stamford bridge if you don't mind please subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share i know it's painful but also remember your brother is there every single day to serve the community waking up like three o'clock in the morning and then you got smashed anyways chelsea one brighton two at stamford bridge and i don't know where to go from here a lot of managers same issues you don't build something like this in one day you can blame whoever you want whoever you don't like make whatever theory and narrative you want but the end of the day the end of the day you see i can't even speak you have to be honest with yourself and say this is more than managers more than one player more than one academy more than one country more than owners this team need to be rebuilt and we need a new manager. Thank you everybody that was there during the watch along on Soka IQ channel. If you haven't joined this channel, what are you doing my friend? We have a lot of fun over there. We always provide the link for everybody to call us even during the game. So come join us it's a small channel that we'll be doing all our watch alongs and calling shows and all that soca iq live every single day <laughs> i don't even know where to start my people and i am even surprised why chelsea is still 11th <laughs> we're still in the relegation battle it's not done yet. We can still be relegated. Not even 40 point yet. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Goodness me, what's happened to Almighty Blues? But you know what? At the end of the season, I told you people to prepare yourself. Brace yourself because it's going to be a very bumpy road. We're going to be here no matter what. Even if we are relegated to the second division, which, which is called championship in England, I will be there and I will support the Blues. Man of the match, Julio Anciso. He had a very good game of football, to be honest with you. Kano Galaga got like 10% of the vote. Kepa Arisa Balaga, 8% of the vote. But I will talk about Kepa a little bit late. But it doesn't look good, my people. If you look on paper, one Chelsea player can buy the entire team of Brighton in terms of price, price tag and wages. Overpaid. And they don't then do nothing. They do really nothing at the end. And look at, at Brighton. You can't even recognize people. Yeah, you can recognize them because of what they're doing this season. But last season, nobody even knew who they were. And you have to applaud somebody like um, Graham Porter for the job that he did at Brighton. Not at Chelsea. But this guy worked with this team for three years and made them world class. Regardless of your narrative and theory, he did a great job over there. Probably he's not in the Chelsea level and he put us in a lot of trouble. But there is nothing wrong by telling the truth if somebody did something good. Anyways, my people, let's go to some statistics here. Look, we had 42% at home at Sanford Bridge. Somebody just came out of the blue and completely destroyed us. Shame on us. Shot on target. Brighton had 10. We had 
two shot on target. One was deflected and we scored out of that. And another one was just a weak one. Just The goalkeeper just collected it very easily. All the shots together. Brighton had 26. Chelsea only had seven shots. Lord have mercy. And you can blame whoever you want. Whatever manager you don't like, make your theory. But when you don't give me even some some energy and power on that pitch, I have hard time to blame all on the manager, all on tactics. Overpaid, overrated players. Lord have mercy. Where we go from here? People say that Frank Lampard was thinking already about the Champions League against Real Madrid. But me, I wanted to win. I don't care who is on the pitch, just win a game of football because there is no guarantee that we can beat uh, Real Madrid. We can hope something can happen, but who's going to score a goal? Nobody is going to score a goal. We don't have any goal scorer. How are we going to beat them? How are we going to win 3 nil at the bridge is beyond me. And on top of that, you have Aubameyang, who is a proper striker sitting on the bench. That through Fofana, watching the game from the stand, not even in the squad. And you ask some questions, what's going on behind closed doors? But also, you have to remember that Lampard took the job like a week ago. And he's not going to please everybody. And if he doesn't play one person, somebody is going to complain about it. It's always a lose-lose situation. Unless if you win. If you draw or you lose, people are going to ask questions. Why and why not? Mikhailo Mudrik, everybody wanted to see him. Today, what he did, nothing. But you can give him also the benefit of the doubt because... He hasn't played for a while. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what is happening with this team. Mason Mount on the bench. People don't want to even Mount to be on the pitch because of the hate that we have toward him. But when we lose, where is Mount? When he's on the pitch, get him out. So you can't win. It's always a lose-lose situation. Anyways, my people, like I said, to be honest with you, I don't even know where to start with this uh, this crap at Chelsea. Where we go from here? Okay, so let's go. 13 minutes, Conor Gallagher scored. Unlucky, <laughs> unlucky for for Brighton because it was a, it was deflected. But that's what you got. When you shoot the ball, anything can happen. Chelsea do not even shoot the ball. They're just waiting for, for, for a player to dribble past everybody and score in an empty net or something. I always tell people, shoot, shoot, shoot. It could be deflected. You might get a, a, a penalty. Somebody might touch the ball in the box. Something might happen. Look at us. Only eight shots and two of them on target we don't shoot we don't know how to shoot we are so nice guys on the pitch Mikalo Mudrik had his uh, an assist today Danny Welbeck of old people and look at listen Brighton were even struggling with injuries they had a lot of injuries in the second half they already had two people out but they managed to beat Chelsea Football Club. So Danny Welbeck of old people. And Julio Ansiso, 69th minute. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It's a long process. And we have just to accept the way it is at the moment. We can't change anything, my people. You can blame on whoever you want. Trevor Chaloba, but at the end of the day, everybody needs to take some responsibility because I don't see any fight. The only guy that was fighting on the pitch was 
like Conor Gallagher and Mikalo Mudrik. And you can find somebody else. But overall, we were really, really poor. All right, my people. I don't care if I forget somebody here. I'm going to just throw some names out there, my friends. Because <laughs> we were bad. All right, let me start by the manager. He's going to get 3 out of 10. I've already said I wanted to see a proper number 9, Datro or Aubameyang. He didn't play them. But other positions, I didn't complain that much because... Whoever is going to be on the pitch, somebody is going to complain. We all been asking for Zakaria to, to, to start the game. He started, he was poor. And also you have to give Zakaria the benefit of the doubt because he's been out for a long time. 3 out of 10 for Frank Lampard. Raheem Sterling of odd people is going to get 1 out of 10. Same odd, same odd, really. No end product, no nothing, not contributing to anything. Um, two, two, two. Joao Felix, I'm going to give him probably 3 out of 10. It's not his fault. He didn't even start the game. 3 out of 10 for Mr. Joao Felix. I don't want to get to many details because I'll be repeating the same thing over and over and over again. I've been saying the same thing for for month and month now. So, Kano Galaga, I'm going to give him 6 out of 10. He could have had like eight or seven, but because of overall how poor we were, I'm going to give him six out of ten. He scored today, so. And uh, Mikalo Mudrik, he had an assist today. He was fighting and running. Just for that, I'm going to give him six out of ten. Uh, who else? Uh, Enzo Fernandez today was very poor, three out of ten. Kepa Abragadabra, my brother, man. He had a he had a, a good game overall because he saved us so many times. But those little moments that we need him to focus and save us, no. Kepa is a very confusing one. He will just make some very good saves and then will concede stupid goals by, you know, it's, it's not his fault sometimes. He doesn't have... Uh, long arms i'm gonna give him just three out of ten ben shewell three out of ten i didn't see much really you know what i mean uh who else i i think i am mixing people here kukureya what are you doing here brother i didn't see you so kukureya must be out cover came on but didn't do really much, so I'm going to give him like 2 out of 10. Zakaria, 2 out of 10. Um, but Yashil, we've been asking for him to be, but, you know, today he was very poor, 2 out of 10. And also, <laughs> Trevor Chaloba, I feel sorry for the boy because he got completely destroyed by Mitoma, 2 out of 10. Am I forgetting somebody here? I don't care. All the people that came off the bench Mason Mount came for 15 minutes Mateo Kovacic for more than that and Hakim Ziyech hmm. Hakim Ziyech and Rhys James Rhys James also had time so I'm going to give all of them like Rhys James is going to get 4 out of 10 Mason Mount 4 out of 10 Hakim Ziyech is going to get three out of ten he tried he put those balls in the box but you don't have a proper number nine why are you putting crosses in the box it doesn't make sense to me listen people if i forgot somebody here i don't care give him whatever whatever score you want because who cares the end of the day my friends long way to go man long way <laughs> 